Gotta get energized. Do we? This is how I get energized. <laughs> this is why I hate like having to be like a like an internet or a TV personality. When you get out of practice, that's a mess. We haven't done it in like that's months. True. I haven't, we haven't recorded anything new other than that one video I did with Dom. I think I'm gonna take my glasses off because of the reflection, or else I'll look like a mad anime I scientist. Yes, I will too. Then. Oh no! Hi everybody, I'm Kyle. That's Allison. Hi. Boy, do I have news for you. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> today is Monday. There uh, isn't a sketch today. There's this instead, um, which isn't super exciting, but we do have some exciting stuff to tell you about. We just had a lot of new stuff going on this last month, um, and we ran out of all the videos that we had built up, and we haven't filmed anything in months, actually. Like, everything you've been seeing this year was already filmed previously, so we're kind of rusty because we haven't actually sat down and like recorded something. Well, we community comments, but wow, that's such a format that it's like yeah. one of those was supposed to be out on Friday too. That didn't happen. <laughs> oh, is it recorded? No. Oh, first and foremost, yeah, absolutely. It is news that is in regards to nothing that matters to anyone except for us. We got engaged. Yeah, we did actually. Also, we're dating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For all of you people who were wondering. We were. Before we got engaged, we were, in fact, dating. It wasn't clear to a lot of people. <laughs> That's been going on for a couple years. Um, props to anybody who figured it out. I guess we just didn't make it obvious or something. But we mentioned it on the live streams, but people, not everybody watched that. So yeah. that happened, and now we're engaged as of uh, Because we last were week. dating. Right. That's not related to anything. It's no, just it's an not. We just wanted to tell you. It's, yeah. it's impacted some of our everyday lives right. and just general yeah. uh, busyness. We were out on a trip this week so that's part of why we didn't I didn't film I didn't film the thing we were supposed to film which is gonna be elite dangerous which is still happening we've been working on sky vault for this entire time and we haven't it, it feels like it's been forever since we actually communicated with the channel again because we haven't like done stuff we've done community comments I don't know why it feels Have like we? it's been that long I don't remember the last time we did community comments we did it with the uh, Thomas after doing the the, the fable oh, the, or the, the Marvel video we did, uh, we did the Fable 3 experience. Yeah. Um, that feels like years ago. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's been, it's just been, we've been doing so much stuff every single week. I was single-handedly doing all the producer work while, while Kyle and Ian were doing all of the writing work. Yeah, and we hired Ethan and, on part-time, as we, you saw in the behind-the-scenes videos. Yeah. He was helping with, with some stuff. And was, we were still not getting very far. Actually, we were having a lot of problems. Even with Ethan coming on, um, we, I had to do all the script breakdown, so Ethan was working on some of that. And then I had to do an entire shot list, and then I had to go location scout. So anyway, point is, everyone's been incredibly busy. Yeah. Um, and then everything changed. <laughs> Fire Nation attacked. We were introduced to a couple of uh, local producers through one of our actors. The other group that we're working with have already worked with Netflix, so they have connections there. They already like know some of the executives and have gone through the process of uh, being involved with their shows or pitching their own shows to them. Which is really helpful because we didn't we didn't have any of that at all. And when yeah. they heard about the project, they were excited to kind of help out because for them it would be their first big thing. Even though they have all these connections that we don't have, they've worked on relatively smaller projects, um, and they were interested in in working with us and taking on some of the workload that we were being weighed down by. We were specifically meeting with her to talk about potentially getting a little bit more funding to add to what we already had because yeah. we knew we were really falling behind on production value. Yeah. I mean, I was. Once I started crunching <laughs> numbers a lot more, I was realizing that, like... Yeah. Well, it's what we, st it's what we talked about in the first Kickstarter it video. Is. It was, you know, $150,000, we can do it, but it will just kind of be like Spits a door quality. monster, ver you know, quality version of it, not necessarily yeah. like big Hollywood production, like yeah. what we kind of, you know, w ideally want. And their suggestion was to, instead of focusing on the entire series all at once, to work on a pilot first and then get more funding from Netflix to then expand on it. And it's something that, that, that specifically is something we have already, we'd talked about before. I don't know if we talked about it on the channel. I don't think but so. But when we first hit our goal, we had a whole debate on whether or not we should try to make a pilot and pitch that and get more funding from it, or just run with what we had and make the entire series. And we ultimately decided to do the whole thing all at once because there was no guarantee that a pilot would get picked up. And then in that case, we're kind of out of luck because we spent all the Kickstarter money on the pilot. Turns out Netflix as a company is much more likely to pick up a series that you pitched them as a pilot. Even if we did film the entire thing and try to sell that to them, it, it really just doesn't happen very often. They don't buy whole series unless they're like established things from other networks like The Office or Breaking Bad right. or, you know, fully made TV shows that they're just hosting on their service. 150000 for 12 episodes left absolutely nothing for post-production. 
Yeah. Um, so we were really kind of pushing off that problem until we were going to cross that bridge, but... Because uh, worst case scenario, I was just going to do it. Like, like we did with the guards scenario, themselves, and that would have taken a year. Right. It just came down to comparing risks, and once we really thought it over and talked about it with the whole crew and cast and everybody, mm -hmm. everyone just kind of agreed that it was actually less risky to go about it the, the pilot way. Had we tried to do the pilot on our own, we didn't have that guarantee, so we definitely wanted to do the 12 episodes, but then we had no guarantee of post-production, so this was the only thing that was saying, we think you can get it distributed, and we think we can get you more money for, um, you know, creating the second series. Yeah. Enough money that we would be able to create 12 episodes and do post-production, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And so. obviously that sounds like a really big change, and was. It took us a few days to like completely reorient, so... We were not expecting <laughs> that when she was like, oh yeah, no, because the idea had just been to get more money. Right. So she was talking about bringing in producers But still do LA. the exact same production process right. and schedule and everything. And, and they were like, so anyway, just cut out 11 episodes and let's see how it goes. And we were right. like... And it was, it, it took some convincing, like, we, we talked to them about it a long time, and it's a lot to just suddenly dump on all you guys also, so it's, yeah. I, I, um, we very much encourage any kind of, um, questions and comments and, and communication, uh, cause it's, it's a lot, it's, it's a, it's a big change on, on our end. On your end, it sh ultimately shouldn't end up being a big change. Hopefully not, um, yeah. because if it does get picked up, we'll be able to shoot it next year and ideally have it released around the time that we mentioned on Kickstarter, which was like end of 2019, beginning of 2020, because I overestimated, you know, way far because I had no idea how long it was going to take. Mm -hmm. um, so as far as like delivering the final product, it shouldn't change anything. It lets us bring on more camera people. It lets us bring on, you know, people to manage props and costumes and takes a lot of work off of us and gives people individual things to focus on and just make sure that they're that much better. Despite Kyle's best efforts, we were going to have no time to be able to write scripts for the sketches and or act them out or create them in any way, which we had promised to do and had every intention of doing and honestly couldn't afford to not do. We updated the actual um, uh, list of videos coming out also. there's I, there, I know there's one pinned on our subreddit, but it's changed a little bit and I'll put a shot in of it right here. So I think the biggest worries that we've gotten when talking to people are like, what happens if Netflix doesn't pick the show up? First off, we're gonna make a freaking awesome pilot. Like, it was it's already gonna be, gonna be so cool. Dope. And now we get to just put so much work into this one thing. We're gonna be filming for a solid week. We're gonna have really awesome cast and crew on it. And it's, it's gonna be a really solid pilot and we're gonna be actually flying out to LA to like pitch it to them. So it's gonna be a whole thing and we're gonna put like everything we have into this. If Netflix, you know, has a no-go, then we go to their competitors. If their competitors are a no-go, then we go to some private investors. And if they're a no-go, then yeah, then we start shopping right. around. A lot of people have to turn us down for it to, you know, be a complete and total failure. Yeah. But it is something worth considering. I mean, J.K. Rowling got turned down by 13 different publishers before anybody sure. published Harry and Potter. But there are some industry um, like specifics that are also making us optimistic about it. Like sure. Netflix has like an eight billion dollar budget or something for, yeah. for making shows next year. Another big concern is whether or not we're going to retain creative control over the project, um, which we've also had well, people... Well, we can just squash your concerns and say right. yes. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that legally all of our um, intellectual property is locked down. We won't move forward if anything doesn't give us full control over the project. Right. And we have our own lawyers also that will be looking over stuff like it's not people aren't going to slip things past us if you've been following the channel for a while you know that we prioritize artistic integrity over money literally every single time <laughs> or probably yep. our views and subscribers would be way higher than they are now and we would just be a, we would be in a completely different place and you would hate us most likely that's but other people would love us we could be Jake Paul if we wanted to I don't know if I have that in me, actually. I'm not, I'm not sure. How many sure. people are in Door Monster? We could be like Team 13. So yeah, if you have any more concerns or questions or anything like that, please um, bring them up in the comments. We will be happy to answer you right there and address them in a future comment video or something. We'll probably do one sure. this Friday, actually, and um, and we'll bring up some comments from, from this video in that one just to clarify anything. So we're, we're doing the one episode in September. Right. And then we'll have to pitch it to Netflix before we can film the rest of it. Right. And we don't know exactly when that's going to happen. Right. So we have a, a block of several months. When we were getting to the end of the Kickstarter project, we, we weren't actually sure it was going to make it. Because if you recall, 
it didn't until the last three hours of the last day of the, of the project. Um, so we actually came up with an entire alternate year's plan in yeah. the event that we didn't hit our goal. We did. Um, which involved creating the sequel to the guards themselves. And we, like, we have the outline. Like, we wrote the entire outline for the sequel. We know what's going to happen in it. We know all the characters are going to be in it and all the story arcs and everything. Like, it's half written already because we were... We were, like, 50-50 on whether or not we were actually going to end up working on Sky Vault at all. Right. Um, so now that we have this big gap with nothing to do and new cameras... And New nice cameras. All this, and, and yeah, just kind of some free time. We're going to make that. I'm super excited. That's going to be my visual <laughs> we're baby. We're going to make it. We're going to finish writing it. We're going to do pre-production stuff now, which we're, you know, which we've got some, some practice on. So we're just going to dive right into that. Yes, we do. And we're going to shoot it in like two weeks. And we're going to edit it. And we're going to put that out hopefully sometime early next year. Hopefully. So... So yeah, that's gonna happen. The guards themselves sequel. It's gonna be Stay called something that things. isn't the guards themselves, and it's and it's coming soon, <laughs> which is weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, best case scenario though, then we have that. We have an extra thing to to pitch like, hey, look, we're a real movie studio, and then we have that and Sky Vault come out in the same freaking year. That would be amazing. Yeah. We're also gonna get a house, and then we're gonna get married. <laughs> and an office, door monster and office. An office. Big year next year potentially. I really like the idea that we just sat down and talked about how we're like decreasing our workload by like a whole ton. No, but then we no, were like, no this no, is really what happens. Enough though. Every so. time I get a gap, I'm like, oh cool, I don't have anything to work on. How about I can a work whole... on these ten things. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go get back to work. Yep. And uh, and we'll we'll post another video on Friday with with the comments for the community and, and whatnot and comments we'll, for the community and we'll film soon and 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 stuff will happen thanks for watching leave your comments all that we'll see you on friday bye